Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Doing another KSD cast for you guys, and um, couldn't really sleep too well. So I figured I'd just wake up and start my day. It is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everyone has a good Friday, has a good week, and um, my dog's going into surgery today, so wish her the best of luck. Um, and uh, yeah, so going to, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this one. Maybe I'll post it today. I don't know. But um, I wanted to do a couple replays of this guy named Models. Um, he is a low money player, I believe, and he occasionally will play, uh, SCW games, so I figured I'd do, uh, a one replay of him playing a one versus one against four drones, this is also known as Kokanee, um, so we'll see a one versus one between these two, and then I'm gonna do a two versus two. Um, I think uh, one two versus two game. So I'm not sure when this was played, but this was I'd say maybe a year and a half ago. Um, I've seen models play a few times. He's pretty good. Uh, he's a really good low money player, but he's also uh, a good uh, fastest player as well. So. We'll get to see his skills in this Protoss versus Zerg. And it looks like he's already going for something a little bit different here. You know, for the two gateways into a gas. And gonna go with the Cyber. Gonna scout out Kokanee here. And going to harass with that probe. And Kokanee gonna go with two creep colonies. And kinda sucks. Kokanee is in a middle position, so it is going to be tough for him to uh, defend against drops. He's got two Zerglings right here, two Zerglings just spawned right there. So these Zealots won't really be able to do anything. Let's see if he's queued up two more Zealots as well. Maybe he might just run these past, we'll see. And go after some drones if he can. Trying to micro these guys in, get a couple shots off. But one of them is going to go down here. And we'll see if he can get any pro or any drones of uh -uh, of four drones. Micro in this a little bit, but not going after the drones. So I uh, might just use this to kind of maybe get some information. Gonna see he's up against just one macro hatchery. He's got the probe in here, micro in the probe a little bit. And we'll see how Kokanee plays this. He's got enough minerals to make another hatchery, so I think he's probably gonna make another hatchery. Probably going to scout with all these Zerglings. And let's see what Models is up to. So he's getting another gateway. He's got a robotics facility on the way. And he already made one Dragoon. Going to try to snipe out this Zergling. But Kokanee going to get some information with this. So Kokanee going to see he's up against a Dragoon. And then he's also going to see the robotics facility. So he'll probably get gas right now gonna get another macro hatchery back here and I'm not sure if it's just preference why players get the macro hatchery back here um, maybe it's easier to rally I don't know uh, I think a lot of players occasionally players will get it here I don't know if there's a reason for it um, it's not like gas is any better so, might just be easier to rally these two and use these drones while you rally these two and use these drones for something else. I don't know. Um, but, already getting range for his Dragoons. And then he's also got the support base. So, he's got a shuttle on the way. And then he's going to be making a Reaver right after that. So, we'll see if he wants to... If he's going to maybe push here or just go straight with... He might send his units over here. Pick them up. And then try to drop into Kokanee's base. So we'll see if he does that. Kokanee getting his Hydras done. So he'll probably get uh, Hydras really soon. So he can prepare for any drop. Getting a couple creep colonies around his main. For Reaver drops. Here is a Zergling going to try to sneak in here. Models is going to see it. And take out 
that Zergling. So nice job there by Models. And um, yeah, I think he usually plays around. I think he ranges from like 180 APM all the way up to 270. I'm guessing in his 2 versus 2 his APM is a little bit faster. Um, but he is a really, really good Terran that I've seen. Uh, I haven't really seen a Zerg as much, but and his Protoss is good as well. So here is that Reaver, and just look at his spending. It just keeps his money really low at all times. He's making another Reaver right there. He's got another Reaver on the way, so waiting for the double Reaver. Kokini getting a Chamber up here, going to get another Creep County, so he's going to have five Sunkins. Going to have six soon. And he does have six now. See if he keeps making some more creep colonies into sunkins. He's getting a lair right now. He's got a couple hydras as well. So he is, and he's probably getting speed. No, he's getting range first. So I don't think he got speed. Uh, he went with range first so he can shoot at uh, the, the shuttles easier. So um, here are... All of your Dragoons, 83 supply for models. Gonna drop the Reavers right up here and just start trying to push. So, good uh, good thing that Kokini has this right here. But he's actually attacking these Sunkins right here to get that... To get the whole splash damage action going right there. So, didn't need to target fire that. He target fired this. So, smart move there by, by models there. And... Koking going to make some more creep count. He's going to try to buy himself some time. Probably going to go right into a spire. There's a queen's nest. And there's his spire. So might try to go for guardians. Um, no extra nexus for models at this time. Uh, just making all dragoons and reavers. And just going to try to push through the front. But sometimes these reavers. Or sometimes the, yeah, the reavers extend a little bit too far. Got to make sure you micro them good. It looks like we might get an attack from models here, so... Um, Kokini gonna keep making as many Sunkins as he can to kinda buy himself more and more time. Sunkins are really strong against uh, Dragoons, but once the Zealots come in here and start tanking some some damage for the Dragoons, it uh, helps out a lot. These two Reavers are doing a lot of work. Here's your Hydras, gonna have to pull the Hydras, and Going to be a little bit vulnerable to drops and slowly work it in here. But Kokini doing a really nice job placing all these Sunkins and buying himself time. He's got the Hive on the way. Uh, about a third way done. So he's going to need to buy himself some more time. Might try to take out a Reaver if he can. Going to pick those up. Nice job there by Models. Really quick reaction time right there. So... We will see what models does. He's get getting an extra nexus, and it's almost done. So, and is he getting an upgrade? Getting an upgrade on his tech, which is going to be close to done. He's got seven gateways here. Looks like he's gonna try to go around, and we'll see if Kokini tries to snipe out the shuttle. Gonna take out one of the reavers and gonna pick up that other reaver. So good job there by models, and these mutas are really helping out a lot for Kokini. There is your Hive, so he's probably gonna get that greater spire. Gonna get that greater spire. Here comes a drop right here. Gonna drop the reaver. Probably go after some of the drones. Gonna pull the drones. I don't think he got a shot off at the drones. I think it shot off right here. He's got the Kokini has the uh, scourges with the mutas here just to help out and take out any shuttles. So good move there by Kokini. And. Getting some more creep colonies. That's one thing that Kokini's really good at is continuing to make a limited amount of units, but also making drones so he can make more sucking colonies so he can keep buying himself more and more time. Um, there's your greater spire. So let's see what models is up to. He is got he's just making all dragoons. He's gonna have that upgrade on his attack. Um getting an upgrade on his air so not sure why uh, it's, it's kind of I guess a low money thing um, 
not extremely useful in fastest getting two stargates here to help with drops here's that here's a reaver with a dragoon in it we'll see if kokanee spots it out not gonna spot it out just yet and gonna pull his drones he has them all hotkeyed i think and i don't think he really lost any maybe lost a couple and gonna use that scores to take out that shuttle which it should we'll see if models sees this and tries to micro it a little bit it is getting closer and closer and closer oh and he tried to move it but it got sniped so models at 110 supply kokanee at 73 models is going to continue to make more gateways very very ugly build and that's one thing that I've, I've noticed about him i saw his terran and he had factories all over the place um and now kokanee getting his guardians he's got some scourges here and now it's just going to be uh, if models can try to bust through this, he's going to have to change up his units. Let's see if he gets Corsairs. Being another Forge. Getting his... Another upgrade uh, on his armor. So two more cannons here. So I think he's just going to try to max out. And... It's going to be tough to bust through this. Kokanee putting his Guardians, placing them... Uh... Uh, kind of far apart from each other so if there are any Templars and they do storm you can't just storm them all at once also if a Corsair comes in here you can't just get some uh, I think they get splash damage so but I'm not 100% sure someone can correct me if I'm wrong uh, gonna get some spore colonies and we'll see if Kokanee starts getting some more hatcheries. He's got a lot of money in the bank and he's getting, I think, his upgrades. He will be. He's already getting an upgrade on his attack and models. Gonna be maxed out pretty soon and he's gonna have some Corsairs to help against those Guardians. Here is a Scourgey. Gonna try to get some information, so... Sending these around, seeing if he can get some information on models base right here. You're gonna see all these dragoons, couple templars right here, and going to see all those corsairs right there. So might build some spore colonies up here. Uh, we'll see if he, maybe he makes this into a spore colony. There is one up here, and yeah, making some more guardians. And we'll see if Models goes on the attack right now. He's got these all maxed out. He's going to have 101. He has 101 upgrades. Uh, got three more Corsairs. And we'll see if he goes to the drop here. Is there a Templar in here? Yeah, so he's going to go for the Templar drop. Uh, but there is, there are a lot of Sunkins here. So it's going to be tough to drop this. And also with the Spore Colonies. Kokanee doing a really nice job protecting his main base. And here comes that drop. Going to use the Scourges and just easily snipe out that drop. And some Devours are made as well. So uh, we'll see how this attack does. I don't think it's really going to be able to do too much. This is a lot of Sunkins. And then with the Guardians to help out. Here is a Templar. A couple more Templars here. Going to probably hold them. Wait for the Guardians to come. And the Devours. And just going to try to push through. Going to probably try to take out these Guardians here. Nice little storm right there by Models. For more Guardians coming here. Kokanee going to bring up some more Drones. And probably just going to build another 10 or so Sunken Colonies here. And Models is going to have to start building up his base. Get some more Gateways. And he had to retreat out of there pretty quickly. Kokanee at 143 supply. Gonna build some more sunken colonies here. And he's gonna have that one upgrade on an attack. He's got an upgrade on a carapace for his air units. And we'll see if maybe he. The one thing is he he doesn't seem to really max out on hatcheries I've seen. Um, he kind of just makes sure he's pretty fortified with his base. And buys himself a lot of time to get a lot of gas. And then make sure his main's good. 
and then he'll slowly use a combination of units to start pushing out and um, and then while he does that if he's able to kind of start pushing out he will make his hatcheries so here's some cannons in the middle from models and gonna go with just still gonna keep trying to bust through the front but this is just even more sunkins a lot of spore colonies in here to take out the corsairs there is a lurker just chilling here he got a kill already so um, and more guardians it looks like are getting made so here comes the frontal attack let's see the vision this is the vision for models he's got a little expo right here here's our, your corsairs gonna try to probably take out these guardians with these corsairs and there are some devourers here to help out but this is a lot of sunkins here and some more guardians getting made and gonna micro these guys back and forth gonna micro his guardians a little bit back and guardians with sunkins is just is very uh, very hard to to beat and there's a temple right there but this is a lot of guardians here and Kokini is basically gonna be maxed out really soon he did build a bunch of more hatcheries so somehow he snuck these guys in here he's got four plus another four right there and then he's got about five back here so he's got about 15 hatcheries and looks like he's just gonna go straight on the offensive here um, there's are these cannons in the middle but these guardians should be able to take care of that let's see if he's got a defiler mound I don't see one so not going to use a defiler just yet. Going to have 1-1 one, one upgrades. A couple storms coming down. Going to take this out pretty easily. Here's your Corsairs. Dragoons coming in here. 1-1-2 one, one, upgrades. So that might save the day for models with those upgrades. But Kokini is maxed out here. So going to micro those Guardians a little bit. And... This is not looking good for models here. And he's got a lot of gateways, but this is a lot of hatcheries. And a couple more hatcheries coming down. These are probably going to turn right into guardians. Going to keep making the guardians. Has an overlord here for any detection. We'll see if this storm helps out a lot right here. Trying to maybe storm here. Not going to use it just yet. He's going to get sniped out, but uh, able to get that storm off. So... Good job by both players. And he does have an expo over here, so that might help out. A couple of devourers to help with the Corsairs. There is a guardian here. Brought all these mutas up here to start making more guardians. And he's just going to keep the pressure on models. And he's going to ha have the his second upgrade on attack pretty soon. Let's see what models is at for his upgrades. Still at 112. Does have a few Templars here. And at 180 supply, but these Guardians are going to be doing some work. Got level 2 Carapace. And just going to keep the flow of units coming here. Nice storms right here by Bottles. And going to micro these guys back a little bit. Another Guardian getting made here. Going to use these Corsairs to try to take out these Guardians, which should be able to. They're pretty low. Going to go after the Muta, though. And... Kokini is slowly getting a little bit closer and closer, and Models is getting lower and lower on his supply. Gonna have to start making some units over here, but he's not. He's basically broke right now, so gonna need to get some more Templars, I think. These Guardians are absolutely killing it. So, yeah, there's your 1 2 upgrades for the ground units. Gonna lose the Templar right there. And going to have to back up. And I think that Kokini is going to have this one. He's got all these mutas right here coming in here. Probably going to make them right into Guardians. Let's see if a storm comes down. And one, two, three upgrades for models, which will help out a little bit. But I don't know if it's going to help out enough. Kokini is slowly getting closer and closer. He's going to be getting gas on the sides to get even more gas for himself. A couple more guardians getting made here. Let's say about seven. And are these all guardians as well? Yeah, so he's got about 15 or so guardians getting made. If he can storm this, it would be a good move. All these guardians just spawn though. We need to try to use these Templars right here. 
Ooh, we got one off. Got to get the other one off. Nice storms right there. Going to micro out of that. And these Guardians are going to finish up real soon as well. Making this Expo get some DTs over here. So that should help. But no more drops have come from Models. And Models is basically broke using all of his money. And Kokini is just going to keep sending the units. He's got uh, so many hatcheries that he can just keep maxing out. These Guardians are pushing. And this might be the GG real soon here. Going to use these Expo. These DTs will help out take out any of that supply line. There isn't. There are a couple Overlords here. A couple Guardians here that are... Uh, just chilling. Can use these Guardians real soon. And the Corsairs able to take out some of these Guardians right here. And here comes another uh, flow of units here. And 2 1 upgrades for air for Kokini. Uh, there is a little expo here. Is he going to try to go for maybe a drop of some sort? But Zealots just don't do that good against. Hydras and Guardians. So I think he just needs to get as many Templars as he can. He's using all of his gas. Gonna try. He's got two Arbiters that just spawned. A storm came down, and Kokini getting closer and closer. Might even have now he has two two upgrades. Gonna have two one upgrades, and he's probably gonna have three two pretty soon. Yeah. So. It should be 3-3. I think Kokini is going to have this one. Bringing in some Overlords for detection. And showing you how to play a ZVP. Here comes the Zerglings. Didn't even use a Defiler. Didn't even need to. There's the GG. So, good game right there. And models is saying something, but I don't really know exactly. Units only BB. I don't know what that means. So, going to do just that one verse one, and then I will do a two verse two. So, I think I had. I think this one looked like it could be good. Uh -oh. So, this is. Uh, Models and LA Fantasy. I don't know who LA Fantasy is or La Fantasy. Um, but a reason I wanted to do this one is because it's got these two guys SM, SM and Zik, and SM Deef. Um, these guys are were really, really, really good twos players. And then it also has models. And he's on the Terran. And then it has this La Fantasy, who is on the Protoss. So it's going to be Protoss Terran versus Zerg. Protoss Zerg. So uh, looks like they're going to try to go for. I think Zeke is just going to make a. Yeah, going to make a choke. And so is Deef. So both of them are going to go for the choke. Going to get scouted out. Let me slow it down a little bit. Make it red and blue for anybody that's colorblind out there. And it just makes it easier to see. So four gateways here for Fantasy. Um, Zik going to get two cannons here. Three cannons. And I've seen actually Deef actually um, stream. And he plays at about 200 APM. And it's, it's not... It's like EAPM. So, I mean, his he doesn't spam much. So when he plays at about 200 APM, it's actually him um, uh, actually playing at that APM. And he's uh, a really, really precise clicker. So I do think he is better than Zik. Uh, but I think Zik got better. Looks like we got a little cannon rush coming in over here. So we'll see if Models even sees that. They're trying to take out the choke of Deef here. Going to cancel that one pretty nicely. Going to get a couple more uh, sunken colonies. And Models is going to have to back out of here. There is a Zealot right here. A couple more Rhines. We'll see if they go for an attack. But this is too many Zerglings. And now going to see that he is getting Cannon Rush. Going to cancel that Refinery on this side. And 
Might just want to try to snipe out the probe if he can. And then he should be okay. And going to stack attack. And go right after the cannons here. So I'm going to take that cannon out. These Zerglings are helping out from Deef. And that cannon is going to go down. But there is another cannon that just spawned. And he is going to attack that one with his stack attack. So that is going to go down. There's a couple zealots in here. And this cannon looks like it's about to spawn. But this should be taken care of. So good job there by Models and Fantasy. And I don't know who Fantasy is. If you guys know who Fantasy is, let me know. Uh, he looks like he's a pretty good player. And now let's see what Deef and Zik go for. So Zik, I always feel like his name's Zeke, but maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know if Deef is feed backwards, like feed me. Uh, but um, yeah, so Models is, he has the gas. We'll see if he gets a factory right away maybe tries to push or maybe if he goes for an extra command center I don't know we'll see uh, sending some of his rhinies here looks like fantasy is going for an all-out mass and let's see if maybe gonna go with a barracks here and there's your Academy so it looks like it might try to bust through the front here and Zick is gonna get couple more cannons he's got some zealots here and three gateways here so he's pretty well fortified and getting two gas and has the triple and now the triple for fantasy getting the three gas and now might be able to take out this gateway I think he can he's got that Ryan so Singies has the opportunity to take out this gateway but we'll see if Zick tries to come out here and take these guys out possibly and gonna have to try to micro these guys back. So we will see if they try to go after the Zerg or here's a lair already for Deef. And we'll see what Deef wants to go with. He's blocking this off pretty nicely with this chamber. He's got a couple Zerglings here. And yeah. Zick and Deef were a really, really good team. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows who they are or if they still play. I don't know if they're just under a different name, but really, really good, good team. So, and Fantasy and Models look like a pretty good team as well. So, uh, no extra command center yet for Models. We get a couple more gases here. Let's see if he's got any units. He's got one Ryan in each of these just in case it comes in handy and fantasy is macroing up pretty nicely so using his gateways nicely and he's at 109 supply zick at 57 he could go for that full on uh choke with all these cannons and looks like zick is gonna go with dragoons getting dragoon range and i'm not sure if i agree with that completely because his position is pretty easy to drop, so he's. I would think he would want to also drop the Protoss, so not sure. So a couple forges coming down for Fantasy. He's got a Citadel, got a robotics facility, going with all of these, um, all of these uh, Zealots right here. And... We'll see if Models maybe goes with a tank drop of some sort, but let's see what the Zerg is up to. Gonna get the Hive probably, and doing a really nice job macroing up. So, Deep playing this one pretty, pretty nicely. And has five extra macro hatcheries here. He is, he's not supply stuck. Hopefully this isn't corrupt. I don't think it is. But uh, there we go. Oh, I think he was saving him up for Mutas. So he's going to go with a ton of Mutas. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, I was worried. So this guy, look at this guy. We got another one. He's on the sauce right there. Took the Adderall and he's ready to go. Uh -uh. 
here's your dropship. So we'll see if Deep tries to micro with some of these mutas. He does have a pretty good micro from what I've seen. And a couple DTs here. So uh, Zik getting DTs and also getting Dragoons. So I like that combination of units. Going to probably be able to take out a lot of these units right here. And we will see what Deef does with all of these mutas. I'm sure he's going to go for Guardians, but here comes a drop right here. And going to get sniped out by Deef. And just a bunch of Rhinies right here. A couple of DTs coming into. This is not going to be good for... Uh, models here. He's going to have to build some turrets. He's got one turret right here. Going to have to put some of his guys in the bunker. But he should be okay with handling this. Uh, needs to build a few more turrets though. This is a lot of DTs in his base. This turret just finished up. And going to go after the main. Probably try to take out this turret if he can. But this is going to go down. Here comes some mutas. Going to micro with the mutas. And going to take out an SCV right there. And three more macro hatcheries. He's going to have a total of nine macro hatcheries. So, Deef has a huge economy right now. A huge base. Going to be able to produce a lot. And I think that models and fantasy might need to just try to go on the attack. But there aren't any observers. Here comes an attack from Zik and Deef, I think. Well, Zik is going to just start sending out with all of his DTs. You don't really see a DT attack. So... And here's a Muta DT Dragoon attack on um, on models here. Gonna have to stim up and did scan that. Able to get some of those DTs. These Ryanskis are doing a nice job, but Muta's not able to do anything. Gonna have to scan this again and take out all of those DTs. So good job there. Models handle that pretty pretty nicely. He's got the triple command center. And might start building some turrets on the side, but Fantasy can go right on the attack. He's got a lot of gateways. Going to look for a drop. And we'll see if Zik tries to go for a drop. Looks like he's just going to start massing up. Get a lot of gateways here. A nice little spread here out here for Fantasy. So we'll see if maybe they just go for an attack right on the Protoss here. Going to trap some of these guys, it looks like. And... Deef going to send over some mutas. They're probably going to make these run into Guardians. I think he probably has a Greater Spire. Yeah, he just doesn't have the gas right now. So here comes a huge attack, though. Here comes the Rhines coming in. And I'm sure a vessel, a couple vessels are probably going to be getting made. And, ooh, did he drop? Did I miss the drop? Oh, he did drop. I missed it. So he dropped Zik as well. Sorry, guys. It happens. So Zik at 34 probes, and that might be the GG. There are a lot of Guardians here, though. So that should help out a lot. And the Zerg is pretty big. Going to go after the main. Going to have to stack attack, but this should go down. Trying to save it, and there goes the main of Zik. So let's see if there's a Templar in here. No more Templar in here. Yeah, I hate when I miss drops, I feel feel bad sorry about that guys but he did lose we know it happened so he lost about 34 30 i mean he lost a, a decent amount of his um probodubs so going to survive this and the zerg is pretty big we'll see if deep maybe goes for some type of uh drop with hydras and overlords could possibly go with that and a turret right here a couple turrets right there and Zik at 1500 minerals, so he should be okay. But Fantasy is basically maxed out. Gonna go with another drop pretty soon here. And Deep is just trying to macro up as much as he can. And uh, he's gonna have to try to carry this one. The one thing is, Models is not building up too big. And here comes a huge attack on Models from Zik and Deef. And here comes some more units. Going to probably make those right into Guardians. Huge attack from Fantasy to, to counter on Zik. That's going to be a really nice counter, I think. But his partner might die right here. So 
It might be one for one, and a long-term huge Zerg is going to be better than a long-term uh, big Protoss. So look at all of these uh, Hydras here. Going to have to get these tanks out, siege them up as soon as possible. It's helping out a little bit, but there is a swarm, and Zik is going to completely survive. So... Yeah, that, that may not have been the best move. Going to lose that tank. Tried to siege it up there. There is a tank over here. Gonna take out this Hydra. But some more Hydras and Zerglings coming in here. Here's a drop right there. Going to get a ton of uh, drones right there. Yeah, it's early. I'm not seeing drops. So, sorry about that, guys. But I think this one might be over. Because it looks like Models is going to be dead here. Micro these back a little bit. Probably a swarm gonna come down. And some cannons getting made in the middle. Fantasy is basically maxed out, so or he is maxed out, so if he can if he can uh drop Zik and then also make sure his partner doesn't die here. Um they might have a chance. Here's another drop coming from Fantasy. Gonna try to save that bunker. Here comes another irradiate. And not really gonna do too much. Here comes some more units. And not looking good. Losing all of his factories here. Here's that drop. And the tank gonna roll out. And gonna probably just put it, maybe try to put it as far back as he can. And might be running some of his SCVs out of here. But. The attack is just going to keep ensuing and going to need to repair that, but not going to repair that. And waiting for this drop to happen. Some more units, so it looks like he is going to survive. Here's that drop. We'll see if he gets spotted out by D. If he did see it, did he get the right one, though? He didn't, and there's your Templar. Is he going to get the storm off? Oh, so close, but not going to be able to get it off. So, needs to try to drop Zik because he does not have a main. And taking out all of Model's base on the side right here. So he doesn't have any depots really. Can't really make any more units. Here comes some Guardians. And these are going to be huge. Almost impossible to kill. So I think this one is going to be over with all of these Guardians right here. There are some vessels though that will help out. There's one Irradiate. Two Irradiates. Three and gonna take out a decent amount of those guardians, but oh, it's just looking close. He did. He was able to take those out pretty nicely, building some gateways in the middle. Maybe should have just built built a bunch of cannons. Um, and we will see if a drop. I think a. Here comes a drop from Fantasy. Needs to try to drop. Um, I think Zik. If he can drop Zik, he'll be in a good position. He can almost maybe outmass the Zerg. Here comes that drop. So we'll see if this lands. But a lot of units coming here on models. Going to. Ooh, he's not going to see it and get a huge storm off. Got. Down to 15 probes, so basically Models just needs to survive this, and he's making a little expo base right here. Uh, needs to repair this bunker before it goes down. These Guardians are crushing it, and his main is going to go down, and looks like Fantasy is going to uh, pull back a little bit, wait for some of his... Uh, to gather some of his units here. And now... We'll see if, looks like Models is going to maybe try to just build a new base over here. Siege up all of his tanks, try to fortify his front here. He's got four factories now, so uh, might have a chance, so they might win this one. I don't know. Now that I, 2-2-2 two, two, two upgrades for Fantasy. Fantasy needs to get another drop. If he can get one more drop on the Zerg, that would be huge. Here comes a huge attack. There are some DTs here. I don't see an Observer. Uh, we'll see if a scan comes down. And even more units coming right here. And a drop coming for Deef right here. But this is a lot of 
Hydra's right here. And model is just trying to survive. Gonna land this here. Gonna see this expo. Gonna need fantasy needs to get more Templars. Can't outmass with And he is getting Templars, yeah. But he's just not gonna have enough. Look at all of these units right here. Needs to try to drop the Zerg. He's got his uh, shuttles right there. There's one storm. There's two storms. And I'm sure some units are going to be spawning real soon, which is going to help out. But needs to get this drop off really, really soon. Not paying attention to it. And this is getting spotted out already. Bringing over the Scourges, and he, he was able to get the right one, so really nice job there by Thief. Showing you why he is a great uh, 2 versus 2 player, and it looks like Zik and Thief are going to win this one. A lot of tanks here, but not able to really help out his partner. Putting the uh, defensive matrix on the, his partner's dragoons. I like that move right there. So really helping out. Look at all these tanks though. If you could just land one more drop on Zik, maybe maybe models can send out some of his tanks. Maybe this one isn't over. Here comes some more units from Zik, and these guys are all stuck in here. Models needs to send out his units to cut off the supply and some drones in the middle. So this would be an epic game if they came back and won this. Needs to build some more cannons right here. Fantasy does. He has a ton of minerals. And Models is... Models has the money. So here is the tanks coming out. We'll see if Deep shoots some red stuff on these guys. There's a swarm right there and some irradiates. And this is a lot of zealots, so the zealots are going to do some work. Nice defensive matrix. Gonna lose a lot of his tanks from all of these zealots, I think, and the splash damage. Ooh, not looking good. Got the micro back. He is buying his partner a little time. And now we might see. Ooh, it was close, but there's just not enough tanks and. There are some zealots here, so needs to pull these zealots and yeah, there's the GG. So I think he said his partner wasn't that good. Uh, I don't think models played that good either, though. So uh, that's the uh, the cast for the day. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and uh, yeah, if you guys got any replays and stuff, submit them to me. Um, I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend. Peace.